Today, back in Torture Queue, we're going to keep in mind that Solo Queue is like a box of chocolates. Really salty chocolates. And we really don't know what to expect, so we're just going to wait for this hero selection to be over. Speaking of hero selection, I don't remember making a video or recording a video of Melissa. And if you're wondering or you're confused as to why, you only have to look at my win rate to see the complete picture. I hope you didn't hurt your eyes. But for now, we're gonna focus on making small changes here. I don't think I should be using Marksman Emblem. I mean, we are Marksmen, but I feel like going Assassin Emblem with Killing Spree is gonna be a lot better. We already have attack speed boost from Inspire Battle Spell and our skill 1, right? Now that we are in the game, we're going to head straight to the top lane where the gold lane is. But first, we're gonna go here and make sure that nobody is invading our Lancelot. Oh wait, actually, we shouldn't really go there now because we're gonna be up against a Layla. And we're gonna go around here just out of her vision and we're going to throw some needles at her very long and nice hair. Which I hate because we have short hair. And we also can go through walls, what the heck? Okay, let's try that again, right around here where she can't see us, into this bush and make her catch our doll and throw some more needles at her hair. She doesn't have flicker now, so she must be very scared. So that's the plan. We're gonna keep doing this for as long as we can. Just keep her away because long-haired girls are so overrated. Everyone knows that it's the short-haired girls that are the best waifus. If you don't believe me, ask Subaru. But first we have to go back to base because we're pretty low on HP. Like, zero HP. Hmm, this is not good. This Layla was able to farm a complete wave while I was gone. And it looks like she's trying to sneak in some jungle kills, some late night snacks in the jungle. And that's not good because she might catch up. I'm beginning to feel that this Layla is a fast learner. She's always under her tower now and I don't think we can get her ever again by this same old trick that we're gonna try out right now. But she checked the bush and she didn't hit me and she now assumes that long-haired girls can ever win against short-haired ones in a best waifu contest. Okay, why are we lagging every time I say something like that? time travel perhaps okay you know what she's not here so we might as well get in a lot of hits here so that we can get a lot of gold from these plates and now we can go to the mid lane where all this in the map seems to be very injured so let's go through here to make sure we cut him up but instead we meet this giant rock again who likes ulting thick walls i guess and now he's helping Layla attack our tower here at the top lane well, we can't have that, so here, have our Franco. He's all yours. Actually, just kidding. Franco is essential to our team's victory. And I see that you're busy with Mr. Krabs, but now you're busy with me. So let's get out of here because backup has arrived. Our jungler is finally here and Layla seemed to be panicking and flickered towards us. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. It happens to me most of the time. But the fight is not over because we still have teammates here and we have a Selena trapped under her tower which is uh, now turned into her gravestone. And now it's time to desecrate that said grave by destroying this tower. So what we should do is we should just ignore this rock guy and focus on this tower and run away. Behold my personal space which you can't go through because I hate socializing. And don't worry, it's not you, it's me. I have problems interacting with people. Meanwhile, I think our job at the top lane is done, so let's see if we can catch this Selena off guard and repeatedly penetrate her with our needles. Okay, maybe not needle, that is, that's too thin. I mean, it's a little thick, you know, this uh, weapon that Melissa throws. But never mind that because we're in the middle of a full-blown teamfight here and we seem to be stuck. It's a good thing we can also set up that dome so we can block them from following us back to base. Meanwhile, at the top lane, I think I saw this punchy guy. Oh yeah, he's here. He's definitely here and he's taking a lot of damage from me. I bet that he can't finish me off before I finish him. Oh, I... 
I don't know what to say. I, I didn't think that would work. I thought I would have to cut this. But that one punch guy just won't stop split pushing our towers at the top lane. He actually took down our tower there and he thinks that he can go through and he could. I really thought that my Dimadome would block his ult. Hey, what are you doing to Ricky? Nobody kills Ricky but me. Do you guys want to do a lord? I think you do. Three of the enemies are dead and you guys are still trying to fight them. But they don't have the manpower to contest this lord so we take this one. And we go to the mid lane to clear this minion wave. Um, guys, Aldous is here again and he's split pushing me again and I don't like it. He was pretty successful the last time and now he's running away. It's a good thing we have Franco here so I guess the best plan of action is to stick around with this guy so we can take objectives and if ever he hooks someone, which he actually did, then we can follow up with some damage. Wow, I think we're doing pretty good damage at this point of the game. Oh, and look at that Layla. She almost died and I'm almost dead. And I think this Selena is an assassin sent to make sure that I end up six feet deep. So beam me up, chicken. Get me out of here before Aldous realizes that he can ult me. So Aldous is at the bot lane actually. For once, he's not split pushing this wave. So in case he goes here, I think we have to... I think we have to itemize against him, like buy the right item. So maybe Twilight Armor is gonna be a good item to stop this Aldous from interrupting my shopping spree. Didn't anyone tell you that interrupting women who's shopping is a death sentence? Trust me, I know. I'm already dead. And so is this guy if he engaged us, but he didn't. So if my complicated mathematical calculations are correct, they have three people dead, so they only have two people alive. So I think we have the upper hand here, a very high success rate in creating a hole in the middle of their base, which we can all enter at the same time. Wow, what a big hole. See, even Franco fits in it. And look at that hook. Wow, that's so great. I, wh why didn't I jump in there? My kill secure sense is failing me. It's getting a little bit rusty. And we actually can take the Lord right now if only everyone would just back off and they're doing the opposite. Come on, me amigos, the Lord is actually free. We just have to realize it. Plus, they don't have a tower there anymore. We can switch to another lane or I can switch to another internet provider. What is going on with this connection? You know what, I'm just gonna start the Lord. Maybe they'll uh, follow up or maybe they'll die to Aldous. Okay, so we only have four people and they have five. And since we were lacking one person and that was actually the tank, the enemies are actually taking the Lord right now and I don't think I can do much about it. So I'm just gonna distract them. There's, we're just gonna die if we go all in. And at game timers like this, this is where we shouldn't die because if ever we win, then a victory selfie is about to... Ah! No way. You can't be doing this to me twice in a row. I died and you guys had the power to wipe them all up without any of you dying? Are you kidding me? Come on guys, just uh, wait for me. Just uh, stop this nonsense at once. Oh man, are you... Is this for real? You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me, man. What is a victory anyway if you're not there to celebrate it with your teammates? A stupid pile of sh**.